Hey reader friends, this is Miss Olson and I have another holiday story for you. This one has a title called Schmelf the Hanukkah Elf. It was written by a man named Greg Wolf and illustrated by Howard Macmillan. This book was published by Bloomsbury and I'm not sure what the copyright date of this one is. Maybe we'll see it in the back of the book. Here we go. Up at the North Pole, covered in snow, You'll find Santa's workshop, as most of you know. But no one could do all that work by themselves. So helping him out is his army of elves. The most unsung elves of those who assist are these elves in charge of checking the list. They all work so hard, down to the last elf, and the newest of them was this fellow named Schmelf. Schmelf didn't spend time playing merry elf games, but sat in his cubicle staring at names. His job was to check through Santa's list twice, you know, to see whether kids had been naughty or nice. Schmelf loved what he did, but as Christmas drew near, he looked at his list and he cried out, oh dear. He'd found many children who had been quite good, but would not receive presents, though it seemed that they should. He ran like a flash to see the head elf, who smiled and said, now, now, calm yourself, Schmelf. Of course, you don't know, since you're still quite newish, but the kids on this list are actually Jewish. They don't celebrate Christmas, but that's fine, you see. They celebrate Hanukkah, their own jubilee. It won't be dear Santa who brings them a gift, but their mommies and daddies. Do you get my drift? Schmelf returned to his desk. Whew. His mind was quite shaken. Kids with no Christmas? Ah, oh, he must be mistaken. So later that night, careful not to be missed, he snuck off to visit one of the houses on the list. Schmelf peered in and wondered, could this be right? There wasn't a tree or a stocking in sight. Instead, he saw menorahs with candles so thin, and children were giving their dreidels a spin. Hanukkah celebrations look different than Christmas, don't they? This beautiful candlestick is called a menorah, and every night for eight nights, the Jewish family takes the Shamas candle in the middle, and they light a candle for each of the eight nights of Hanukkah. They eat yummy things like um, latkes, which are potato fried pancakes and jelly donuts. And they play a really fun game with these spinning tops called dreidels. Let's see what else they do. There was gelt, chocolate coins wrapped up in gold foil, and latkes frying in pans filled with oil. Oil is very important to the Hanukkah story. Then Schmelf saw there were presents, one for each night. His elfish eyes gleamed as he squealed with delight. Yes! Schmelf listened as Mom told the Hanukkah story of the Maccabees' battle for Israel's glory. And though the brave soldiers won their great fight, their temple oil had just enough for one more night. But once they'd set the oil ablaze, a miracle happened. It lasted eight days. Eight days? Hey, now I get it, Schmelf said with a grin. Hanukkah's awesome. I'm totally in. He raced back north and went straight to the boss, the big man himself, you know, good old Santa Claus. 
Schmelf explained his discovery, this holiday grand, and when he was done, Santa held up his hand. Good, Schmelf, chuckled Santa. It fills me with joy to see how you care for Jewish girls and boys. It shows me that you are much more than a clerk, and so I will task you with this special work. Hanukkah is a time for family and song, for joy and tradition. It's where you belong. I've decided at Hanukkah you will travel the world, bringing magic and joy to each boy and each girl. Santa gave Schmelf clothes of white and of blue, the colors of Hanukkah that much Shelf knew. And a sleigh that could soar straight through the air with a Jewish reindeer by the name of Asher. Now you good Jewish kids, for eight nights each December, Schmelf will come visit some years in November. He'll make sure your latkes are crispy and thin. Your menorahs will burn brighter and your dreidels will win. If there's one special gift that you'd like this year, tell Schmelf. He'll whisper it in mom or dad's ear. He'll do what he can to nudge them that way in hopes that the present brings cheers of hooray. To reward Schmelf and Ashir for their goodwill, you can leave out some gelt, maybe a nice kosher deal. What a magical Hanukkah, you'll think to yourself. See you next year, Schmelf the Hanukkah elf. Hmm, that's an interesting holiday, isn't it? Hanukkah, very good. And this book was published, copyright date 2016. I was a little bit off there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. See you next time.